calling to uh, the, the meeting to order for the uh, Maplewood Community Design Review Board. Today is Tuesday, August 15th, 2023. It is six o'clock. Um, we will start with the roll call. We have everyone here except for um, uh, Amanda Reinhardt, but we do have a quorum, so we will proceed. Um, next item is <coughs> approval of the agenda. Staff, any comments, corrections, et cetera? Chair and board, no amendments to the agenda as presented. Thank you. Anything from the board? No adjustments. Okay. Uh, do I have a, uh, a motion? I'll motion to approve the agenda for the uh, August 15th CDRB meeting. I'll have a second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll take it to a vote. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 That's unanimous. Next item is the approval of minutes from our last meeting, which is June 20th. Um, staff, any corrections? Chair and board, no amendments to the minutes as presented. Okay, anything from the board? Any discussion? I would, um, uh, I would entertain a motion. A motion to approve the minutes of the June 20th, 2023 CDRB meeting. Okay, we have a motion and I'll second it. So we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we will call this to a vote. All those in favor of approving the minutes uh, signify by saying aye. 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 And uh, any nays? Nope. Okay, we will, we will um, continue. Um, also, now we see um, Amanda Reinhardt is, is arrived. We now have um, the, the full body here. Um, you only missed the exciting stuff of uh, the approval of the minutes. So next item is new business design review, uh, the former Venberg Tire Building Edition 3001 Highway 61. Report please from staff. Thanks, Sharon Board. Uh, as uh, just has come up on your screen, I have a few uh, slides to walk through the conversation here. Uh, so the former Venberg Tire Building, as the chair mentioned, at 3001 Highway 61 is now and has been for uh, a few years by, is owned by Maple Toyota, and they are proposing a building addition. That addition would add a photo bay and two service bays. Uh, to move forward, they are requesting approval of a conditional use permit amendment, which the Planning Commission will, re will review later this evening, and design review, which this group is being asked to take a look at. Uh, again, the site is an existing car repair shop. Obviously, it used to be focused on tires. Uh, now it's part of the uh, Maplewood Toyota's operation. So it's for internal use only. So if a customer's vehicle is being worked on or anything like that, it's, it's starting at the more centralized location of Maplewood Toyota. There's not people just coming to this site uh, as customers dropping off or picking up vehicles. The site is guided by the city's comprehensive plan as commercial and it is zoned light manufacturing. In 2004, this site was approved for a conditional use permit and a setback variance for again, the auto service function that occurs on the site. So the addition that's being looked at is a 2,400 square foot addition off the west side of the building. You can see the architectural site plan on the right side of the screen. This was included with your packet as well. Uh, the addition will extend 60 feet westward from the existing building uh, and from the previous setback variance. So on the previous slide, I mentioned that 2004 approval, that setback variance was also uh, for the existing building. There are residential uh, properties uh, that are indicated by the I guess the orangish uh, color to the west of the site. So the city's ordinance says that anytime there's a uh, auto repair, uh, use auto sales, they, there needs to be a 350 foot setback between those type of uses. As you can see, the property lines themselves uh, uh, abut each other. And then so the building currently is uh, about 260, 270 feet from the nearest residential property line. So again, 2004, they needed a variance, and now they're requesting a variance today uh, for this project as well. So that addition would require 196 foot variance, again, from the 350 foot setback requirement. The, the site, the size and shape of it uh, is dictated or has been dictated when County Road D was realigned. Uh, so there is a uniqueness to this site that there, um, comes with some practical difficulties in developing or uh, re having reasonable additions to the building for its use and operation. Staff is comfortable with the variance request as uh, it is believed that the request is in keeping uh, of the spirit and intent of the ordinance. 
this is the, the slide that talks about the building design and it's fairly straightforward. The building addition is again oriented towards the rear of the building westward and it will be constructed with insulated precast concrete wall panels to match the existing building. So color and um, materials are intended to match the existing building. The applicant is, there is a representative from the applicant that is present if the board has more specific questions, uh, anything re related to the design. Uh, there are no changes to the front elevation or really any other part of the existing building uh, will remain as is. Uh, process wise, the staff uh, sent a public hearing notice to properties uh, within 500 feet and they've been invited and made aware of the public hearing that will be held later tonight uh, with the planning commission. One comment was received uh, due to this uh, notice mailing and that was included with your uh, report and there were a couple items that that individual did mention on uh, needing some concer concerns about the screening, uh, I guess, uh, of the, the site. And so as you saw in the staff report, there were elements that um, a couple conditions that were added where staff is recommending the addition of four evergreen type trees to the site for additional screening. In 2004, there were uh, trees also required for landscaping and screening. Uh, as those have matured, if you've been able to drive by the site, they're doing what they're intended to do, but there's uh, some spacing in between them. So there's uh, some significant gaps uh, in that screening. And then one other item, just to note uh, in staff's inspection, the trash receptacles were not kept in the enclosure. And so that's built into the conditional use permit that uh, the applicant needs to maintain those uh, receptacles and put them into the enclosure um, so that they are screened properly. Process again for the, the this uh, how the item is being reviewed. Your group tonight, the design board and the planning commission later tonight uh, will be reviewing and making recommendations. And then the city council will make a final decision on August 28th. With that, staff is recommending approval. It can stand for questions that the board may have. Well, thank you for including plans. In our, in our, that Just for you. Sorry? Just for you. Just for me. <laughs> oh, nobody else got them? Chair and uh, board, not to sidetrack, but from the uh, yeah. meeting that we had last uh, yeah. month, you were the one that indicated that you still wanted the, the physical plans. Well, I do and appreciate it. That's for your current term, and then we'll have to see where the, the council wants to go with it okay. for anyone's re-upping. Yeah. How much is the traffic at D and uh, 61? As the engineer, is this going to increase the traffic the vehicle is turning uh, right, coming south on 61. Chair and Commission, the, the city engineer and public works department did review uh, this proposal um, and did not indicate any concerns with traffic. Um, again, this isn't a customer-based facility. Now there would still be vehicles coming in uh, from the site. There is a service road uh, that goes in front of this building and what the parking lot that Toyota now owns where Goldens used to be. Um, so there is some internal drive capability that's occurring off of 61. But again, the engineer did not indicate uh, any concerns with um, traffic coming off the, the county road or the from the highway. Okay, um, also I noticed in, in the packet I got it, I only have, uh, um, like floor plans, I don't have any elevations. Chair and Commission, so that, that was included with your staff report. There yeah. was not a standalone uh, building elevation. Okay. It was included as an attachment to the staff okay. report. Um, all right. Uh, anything else for staff? Uh, I was not able to go to the site. Can you update me as to any roof-mounted mechanical equipment? that the applicant is pro proposing? Chair and Commission, there is roof-mounted equipment that's existing uh, on the building that, like I said, is already there. The applicant can speak more to if there's gonna be additional uh, roof-mounted equipment. And currently it does. That equipment is not screened. It is not, no. Maybe the applicant can come forward. 
And uh, please sign in and um, state your name for the record. My name is Steve Bourbon. I'm with SMB Construction, and uh, I've done a lot of the work for Steve McDaniels on all of the buildings down there. So, pretty simple addition they want to do on this. He's been talking about it for three, four years now, and they kind of need a space to do some of their detailing, which is more of a clean area so they don't get dust on the screen on that 3M film they put on. And they also need the uh, that photo booth for or sales and advertisement. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Michael mentioned about the, uh, the trash uh, receptacles, and they, those are really big dumpsters you've got there. Yes. And can, uh, we, can we be assured that those will be screened? Yes. Okay, because they're, they're not at all right now. I can, we can talk to the staff up there and have them keep inside the enclosure, too. Because those are you know, in plain sight, sight of the uh, the residents of the townhouses. <coughs> so, um, and then uh, uh, Michael on the the uh, additional trees, those would all be on the west side of the property. Then, correct. Uh, and that's how it's written in the uh, conditions okay. of approval: is that they would be near the the west property line in the area where there's existing vegetation for screening. Okay. And I'm pretty sure you didn't bring any um, samples of the material because they're just too heavy to carry. Well, that's correct. I did talk to the architect on that today. Yeah. As, as I don't think I could carry them up. Yeah. But so. if it, it would match the existing, it's a Fabcon right. panel. And yeah. Um, when when was the uh, um, when was that that um, precast concrete installed? The, the, the original stuff? one. Yeah. I know the building's there for a really long time, but. Looks like the precast has been there for some time. Um, I believe the precast was installed at the time they erected the building. It, it's original, and we did do some remodeling okay. there a few years back on the internal when they did buy it. That's just like a building that might be taken down. They, oh. they built that there until they closed that. Oh, yeah, Venberg built Venberg it. was at a different location. They, they were, and then they built that, and then they ended up closing it. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, Maplewood Toyota bought it from Venberg yep. when, he, when he decided okay. to close it. Yeah. 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 The tire's still there. It's still there. Huh? Yeah. You get a lot of requests of you can have it too. Okay. All right. Um, so the any other questions? So the existing building material is uh, painted precast concrete, correct? I think it's natural finish precast. There's no paint on it. No paint. Okay. In that case, it's even probably a little bit more concerning, if you put new natural precast next to existing precast, they will, they will not match. Yes, there might be some shading difference what from the sun. do you propose to make it more matching? Well, I would talk to the architect if he had in a, something we could put on it to blend it in, but I'm not uh, exactly what to sure, but normally uh, the sun will, will eventually fade it right back in with the other one. In about 10 years. We I was could, just there just, today, we, and I, it, it, the existing stuff looks pretty new, and I, certainly the caulking between the panels is new. The existing may be new, I mean, but yeah. my concern is you, you cast new precast panels and put it right next. Are you open to setting the new addition back by 12 inches? Back by where? So offsetting so that the two walls from the north side are not aligning exactly. So you set the new, the new building back to the south by about 12 inches so that the existing building is, t is to the north by 12 inches. Then in that case, since everything is not in the same plane, it doesn't matter if the new precast and the old precast doesn't match exactly. You see we, what I'm saying? Yes. You, you kind of you want to you want to put like a a stagger right there yeah. to create like a shadow line. 
we could discuss that with the architect and uh, we probably bring Fabcon in too. And we may even ask them to do a sample panel where we could take a look to see how it would blend in. What I would suggest is if you can uh, cast a, a new panel and put it right against the existing panel and then um, let the staff go and take a look at it. And we the staff a is panel. okay, and maybe one of us here. And if you are okay with that match, then you are okay to, to align the panels. You don't have to stagger it. But if that panel that you're gonna cast does not match, this is what I would recommend, that you step it back 12 inches. Okay, we could look at that. If it's off that much, we could look at giving it a, uh, a light stain finish on the whole thing too, to blend it in. No, I like that. What you just said, I like that very much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. side of the building is very visible to the retail just directly a, a across uh, county road B from that you can see that pretty visibly in that particularly on the county road B facing side um, staff I mean is there any parking um, concerns with it, it looks like there is five parking spaces that are impacted by this chair and board uh, yeah, there, there will be a, a loss of uh, four or five parking spaces. Uh, we, as we've done inspections over the course of this application review, uh, we haven't noticed um, any kind of parking uh, illegally or, you know, the applicant will still be required to park in striped stalls and there is a parking count that we believe is being met. The biggest takeaway is that directly um, south of the site is a parking lot that they own. Okay. Um, that they can utilize for storage of cars. Yeah, and you you really don't have customers there. It's like no, the customers really. all deal with the, the main dealership yes. south of there, and then you need to do your thing, so you transport the, the vehicles up there and yeah, that's correct. do it. Okay. So staff, as I look at the property to the south where the parking lot is, there's a little bit higher density than the level of screening necessary sure and commission so there's six foot trees so they're pretty sizable trees that you spoke of in the proposal yeah and there's um you know three or four trees that are existing uh, already there so the four would complement what's there and there's some deciduous trees as well um that are obviously don't provide the year-round screening but if you're out there today they provide yeah, some provide um today. yeah so yeah, we were cognizant of what was required for the parking lot to the south. Um, there's you know a little closer proximity to those homes as well. Um, so yeah, we, we felt comfortable with the four number, but. Okay. Any other questions? I don't have any qu more questions. Anybody else on the, the board have any questions? Would like anyone like to uh, propose a motion? Now, if you got the language down for the staining, you want to take a stab at it? Yeah, I'll take a stab. Uh, I'm just seeing which pages are we specifically uh, referring to. It's uh, the bottom of page... E1, attachment 2. 5.01. I was looking at... Yes. Oh. What about E1, attachment 2? That's also... Talking about design review resolution, yeah. isn't it? Chair and commission, so attachment two, starting on page 18 of the packet, yes. is the design review resolution and the conditions um, start at the bottom of that page and continue on to the next page. I make a motion that uh, the CDRB approve the addition for uh, uh, on behalf of uh, um, for Maplewood Toyota at the intersection of 61 and County Road D for, for a 2,400 square feet addition, um, allowing for all these st statements mentioned on page 18 and 19 of the staff report, but adding item 13 
to say that the applicant shall either stain the exterior facade of both the existing and the new buildings or set the facade of the new building for the south by 12 inches from the north facade of the existing building. So uh, basically I'm giving the owner and the applicant two options here. Is that clear? Uh, just a question on that. If, if they're going to move it back 12 inches, can they also, can they just move the entire building yep. back 12 inches? That's what so I meant. The yeah, ent okay. The entire building. Same you just, um, yeah, you set, same set the size. facade, but, but not, you know. The yeah, I'm sure they don't want to lose any right. portion yeah. of the 2,400 square feet. That's so, so I can clarify that uh, the second option would be to move the entire building south by 12 inches from the north face of the existing building. Okay. I will second that. Any further discussion on this? Then let's take it to a vote. Um, all those in favor of, of this signify by saying aye. 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 Sounds like it's unanimous. Well, thank so, you. Good luck with the Planning Commission. All right. I hope they're as friendly as you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. Thanks again. All right. Um, let's see, then, next item is F, unfinished business. Is there anything? Chair and Commission, no. Chair and uh, Board presentations, anything? Okay. Uh, staff presentations? Chair and Board, nothing uh, further for you tonight. I see no visitors, so we, there will be no presentations there. I would make a motion that we adjourn. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous, congratulations us.